Hi, my name is Lina, a research scientist for Charles River Discovery Services, and you are watching A Dose of Science. Recently, my research has focused on using bioluminescence to understand how cancers grow and to test the drugs we develop to treat some cancers. In honor of this year's AACR virtual meeting, I would like to tell you more about my work. Bioluminescence is the glowing light you see in insects and animals, like the fireflies in a warm summer night, or like the sparkling algae and planktons that light up the ocean waters. These animals express an enzyme called luciferase, which can react with a compound called luciferin to generate light that is useful for them to communicate to attract mates or preys. With advancement in gene editing techniques, Scientists have realized that they can cut and paste the luciferase genes into cells that do not glow originally, so that biological events in these cells can now be seen with eyes or captured on camera. The luciferase and luciferin system can be used to study a variety of biological processes, such as the expression of genes, the infection of viruses, and to study the growth and movement of cells. For instance, Numerous cancer drugs in a preclinical stage were tested using the bioluminescence system to see if we can reduce the growth of tumor cells. The luciferase gene had been introduced into tumor genome in order for the maglinin cells to be visible in mouse models. This is particularly useful for systemic tumors such as leukemia and myeloma, where blood and multiple tissue systems can be affected. Without the luciferase gene, it would be very challenging to detect if the tumors had shrunk without invasive experimental methods. In order to get the best results from bioluminescence studies, optical technology has also improved. At first, it was only feasible to detect and measure bioluminescence in extracted proteins or in cell culture. Now, we can use charge coupled devices or CCD cameras that have low noise and superior sensitivity. They allow scientists to record photons emitted from live animals bearing luciferase expressing cancer cells. Current CCD technology generates images of superb resolution, allowing us to place bioluminescent signal at specific anatomical locations even in whole live animals. Coupled with the fact that luciferase and use of luciferin is non-toxic to cells and animals, we can use optical imaging to determine tumor growth as well as spread across the body in the same animal over and over again, across a long period of time. The CCD system also digitalizes photons from animals, which can then be quantitatively measured by software to give us a sense of how much tumor burden there is in the animal, and we are able to see tumor signal progress with time and going down with treatments. My research describes the development of a luciferase-expressing human acute myeloid leukemia cell line called the MV411 cell line and the utilization of optical imaging to study the efficacies of chemotherapies in mice that are implanted with MV411 cells. We show that using optical imaging, we were able to recapitulate the efficacy of targeted therapies as shown in the reduction of bioluminescent signal in tumor-bearing animals. Living models are complex biological systems that mimic the human body. Not only do they provide anatomical context, they also possess complex and interconnected physiological and metabolic processes that are similar to a human body, many of which are not reproducible in a cell culture system. Using the double advancements of bioluminescence gene editing and improved optical technology, we are able to see in real time how cancer works and how our drugs can fight back. It also allows us to live our three R's objective, that is to reduce, replace, and refine the use of animals in research.